What is going on, you guys? It is your host, Avery, here bringing you guys a brand new series that I have a feeling is really going to take off. Uh, at least, <laughs> I'm hoping it will take off. This is going to be a perfecting series, as you can clearly tell by the deck profile. This is going to be the series known as Perfecting Chamber. This is going to be episode uno, episode one. Um, and I want to start it off with an introduction, obviously, to a deck profile that I've shown multiple times uh, that has not really changed in a while because I've been taking a break from the game until we get uh, Link Summoning. Uh, with uh, Code of the Duelist on the new starter deck. But this is going to be a deck profile of Chamber, and as well as an introduction to this series. What this series is going to be is basically informing you on how to play Chamber and how to play against it. Good techs uh, as the game kind of progresses, kind of like how MCO40 did, perfecting the gadgets and things of that nature. Um, so I kind of want to do the same thing, but I want to do it with Chamber because I feel like it's really off the beaten path. It's a deck that I always play whenever I'm not playing a meta deck, really. Um, or I'll play, you know, some stupid OTK or FTK or self-destruct button never comes back to one, two, or three. I'll obviously be playing self-destruct button for all my veteran subscribers, then you know why. Um, because that's like really what kind of helped support my channel until I kind of started getting bigger. Um, but if you guys want to see more and you want to support this perfecting series, please leave a like on this video. I know I haven't been doing the notification bay of the day. I'm going to be getting back to doing that um, after this video. So expect notification bay of the day on the video after this one. So if you want to be notification bay of the day, all you got to do is be part of the notification squad. Hit that ding dong notification bell. Comment on this video. Like it. Subscribe. And you will be that notification bay of the day. Or at least possibly be. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into the deck profile. And I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on Chamber as a whole. So start off, we got a uh, three card card D. This card loses to Ultimate Conductor Tyranno hard. I just literally got done doing a live stream, um, and I was talking about how I tested Chamber this morning and was testing it uh, last night in this new format with No Norton. Loses hard to Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, and with you going off the beaten path playing Chamber, you're already at a disadvantage because you need to be able to draw all your cards and maximize your cards' effects to their highest potential. And then next up, we are playing. Move that over a little bit more. We got Triple Battlefitter. And Triple Swiss Scarecrow, you need to be able to stop your opponent's attacks, and you need to be able to draw these, especially whenever you need them. I cannot tell you how many times I have drawn into a, um, a like, used Accumulated Fortune and drawn into, like, a Swiss Scarecrow or Battle Fader when I really need it. And then we're playing Triple Lava Golem. This card has saved my ass so many times throughout all the years that I've played this deck. Um, and my dad's played this deck for six-plus years consistently. I just play it on and off for years. Um, but that's it for the monsters, so these are the spells. Uh, we got triple duality, uh, obvious reasons you need the consistency. We got one one-day piece. I wish that this was back at three. I know people will hate me for that. And then we got two chain strike. This is obvious you're playing chain burn. That's it for the spells. For the traps, we got one legacy, one jar of greed. This is preference. So I just like one of each, um, as does my dad. I'll probably have my dad on here for an interview since he's been playing the deck consistently for six plus years. Um, we got three reckless greed. Draw power is good. We got triple accumulated. You can chain accumulate to accumulate. I've shown that combo on the channel before. Very good. We got Triple Wabaku, another good stall card. You need all the stall that you can get. Uh, double Geometria, Triple Secret Barrel, Triple Just Desserts, and Triple uh, Secret Blast. This is pretty much like your burn engine here, and then along with the trios, of course, until Link Summoning, then the trio becomes terrible. Uh, but what Secret Blast does is that you flip 300 damage to your opponent for each card they control, and if this card you control is destroyed by opponent's card and set in the graveyard, then they lose a 1,000. So pretty much the way that you want to activate this card is you want to have it set, getting ready for a chain. Your opponent tries to Twin Twister you either at the end phase, uh, and then they get punished for it by losing a 1,000, which is what I hate the most about playing Chambers, that an end phase Twin Twister just kills you, or Danko, or Jinzo, or anything else like that. Um, but the best way to maximize it is your opponent tries to Twin Twister you like during their main phase. You chain this, and then if this is one of the cards that they targeted, then they'll take 300 for each card that they control, plus they'll take another 1,000. So, very, very good. Your extra deck is just 15 Fusions, because uh, normally, uh, whenever I play this deck, I will side deck 3 Try and Guess, uh, and then I'll just call Exceed, and I end up gaining 3,000 life points. Um, so I definitely like uh, Try and Guess and having a 15-card Fusion deck, or having 15 Fusions in my extra deck for that reason. Um, but, I, like I said, I've been playing the deck for years. My dad's been playing it consistently, like literally no, pretty much no other decks, unless he's just been testing here at the house for fun. Uh, all he's been playing is Chain Burn. Um, so if you guys want to see him for an interview on the channel, uh, and like I said, if you guys want to see the series continue, please leave a like, support the channel. Um, I, I really want to do this series. I feel that people just have so many wrong ideas about Chamber. Um, not because, like, everybody says it's a solitaire deck, because I will admit to the fact that it is a solitaire deck. I mean, you know, you're, you're just, you're burning your opponent, you're not really interacting with them. Um, 
people, what I want to teach people is the fact that, for one thing, I'm tired of, like, you know, players trying to cheat me out of card effects when clearly they know how it works. Like, with accumulated chaining, with another accumulated in the same chain, you can do that, and then players will try to tell you that you can't. Um, shout out to all those idiot players. <laughs> um, and I'm tired of Yugi Tuber saying, oh, it's a good medical, it's a good medical, when really it's not. And, you know, I don't want to see the player base get screwed over. And more importantly, I'm just tired of people thinking that they know what they're talking about. And I know that sounds kind of egotistical, and I'm not trying to be that way. But it just it irks me when people say it's a good medical when it hasn't been a good medical for like two years. It'll be better when link format hits, because, you know, we'll be able to burn more and stuff like that. But as of right now, it's just, n no, not a good medical. So. I'll probably be posting episode 2 tomorrow, um, talking about tech cards and stuff, um, and with the meta shifting into link format, we'll be talking about that as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, all this and more. Thank you guys for watching as always, and subscribe if you have not already.